What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm here at <laughs> a rental property. Um, this actually used to be originally, um, I built this for me and uh, my son and uh, my man Ramon to have a place to stay. It's an addition onto another house. I actually have a, a garage here where I keep extra materials and stuff on here. Um, but ended up um, renting this place out. It's small living room. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms upstairs. It's about uh, 1,100 square foot total. And the person who's been in here for five years is moving out. And it doesn't look like what it looked like um, when <laughs> I lived here. Here's what's crazy. Flooring right here. It's a laminate flooring. Um, an expensive one. But, you know, you see it's still in good shape. Um, I've got a lot of holes in the walls that we've got to patch up, which, I, you know, I don't mind that. We'll actually paint this with the same color and things. But here's where you, you kind of shake your head at some of the tenants, and maybe I need to do better at checking up behind them. Because they had a leak underneath the sink that they never notified me about, in which case it's destroyed the cabinets in here, and it's completely messed up the flooring. Now, the flooring started from that side, and we came over this way, and I, of course, don't have any more of this flooring, so um, I've got to basically take and replace the whole floor. I've gone through, and I have gotten a really good um, laminate flooring, so if there's ever a problem like this in the future, um, I can it, it'll withstand getting wet. Same thing with the bathroom upstairs. They had a toilet that was leaking, and didn't notify anybody so you know these are things that are simple to repair um if somebody just says hey i gotta leave i'll be by there and take care of it um and get it squared away no biggie but if the tenant doesn't notify you then of course you're kind of screwed when i built this place i built the cabinets i'll redo the countertops and stuff because they definitely messed it up but looking at the carpet because this is actually a really good grade of carpet that we had put in here it's literally destroyed and I, I'll, I'll take you guys upstairs here in a minute but this is where you just kind of go what the hell are people thinking um worst part about it is they're supposed to be have been moved out by the first we gave them an extra week and we still have stuff that's here they said oh we just have a couple little things that are left and there's beds and dressers and things like that so we were supposed to have this place turned over um, for the new tenant for next week, but fortunately, they actually have a little more time. Uh, they don't need it till the 1st of December, and we're going to need more time to get this place together. So, yeah. Lesson learned. Have regular inspections of the properties to make sure that uh, you don't have surprises. Um, and this is my own personal mistake of not coming in on a regular, making sure that the furnace filters are changed, make sure that there's no leaks, leaks uh, under the sink or anything like that. Um, and making sure that you have tenants that aren't just abusing the places. And that's on me. That's not on the tenant. That's literally on me. And that's a lesson that we are correcting um, as we have places that have issues um, we're going through and we're doing our due diligence of getting good tenants. The thing that, the mistake that I made was always thinking, I got to hurry up and get somebody in there because you don't want to have a place sitting vacant for, you know, a couple of months and stuff like that. And sometimes out of desperation, when you do that, you're screwing yourself over. Because having somebody and that's going to destroy your places is worse than having nobody. You can be broke with a place that looks great. You can be broker having somebody that's in there that's not paying the rent or is destroying the place. So lesson learned. 
this literally breaks my heart seeing what they had done to this. This was actually a really good grade of carpet that we put down here. And the walls, I mean, come on, people. Seriously. They end up leaving furniture, bed. I, I don't know how they, how the heck the kids break the ceiling fan light fixture, I guess jumping up on the wall and literally shred the window screens. Yeah, this is, I've got nobody to blame but myself here on this one. Nobody to blame but myself. So, <sighs> queen bed in here, television on the wall, just dirt and filth. Oh well, gonna get to it. Well, I will say at least this much, okay. I've gotten my emotions out right now. Um, most of this stuff is just dirt where they didn't clean, but at least I can say from the standpoint of the stuff and materials that we put into this originally, um, this vanity, which is actually solid wood pieces, it's open, that and the sink itself are all in good shape. Um, this bar definitely needs to go, it's rusted out, but the shower in this bathroom is fine. Let's see, looks like medicine cabinet just needs to be clean. Maybe change the light fixtures, they got a little bit of rust on it. Um, again, I don't know what happened with the ceiling fans, we'll replace those. Spackle up the walls and repaint it, get the furniture and stuff out of here. Um, same thing here. This is just, I mean, it's not, this is, this is crazy because it's not like it's that hard to clean that stuff. I mean, it's just dirt. So, and dust. We'll go through, we'll change the light fixtures up in here and these, that'll make it look better put up new racks and stuff and repaint the walls, but at least the doors aren't broken. And these lights are the worst thing because when you pull those off, they um, stick to the walls. So I've got carpet people coming in on Thursday. So that means I need, today's Tuesday, that means I need to go ahead and get this furniture out of here, get the old carpet up, get all the plates off the walls and things, um, paint this so they can do the upstairs. We've got three bedrooms up here that need to be done. Um, three bedrooms that need to be carpeted. And um, if I can get that in place so they can do that, I can work on the laminate floor another day. So it looks bad. I'm kind of angry because this was, <laughs> When I built this, this was actually my office slash bedroom here when I worked down here. And Ramon, who went back to Mexico, who passed from cancer, that was his room over there. And this originally was Michael's room, and we would do our construction work, and it used to look so nice. But unfortunately, people don't care for your stuff the way you would care for your stuff. And I need to start keeping that in the equation of uh, renting the people. The good thing is I have my wife who's now um, managing the tenants that we get and is getting better tenants to be moving in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, pull out all the nails, dimple these, Spackle them up with some Easy Sand 20 um, so that way that can start drying. And then I'll work on getting the furniture and stuff out of here. And then ceiling's actually not that bad. I can probably just touch up the ceiling. But I'll start cutting the walls and getting this to look a bit better.
So that's where we are. This is the first hour of being here. The good thing is I have a light gray carpet that's going to come in here. Um, and I have a gray hardwood, uh, a laminate flooring that'll correspond with it real well, which will look nice. At least all the tile work that we did, we put cement board down underneath there, made sure it was glued and screwed real well. It at least is holding up great, so we don't have to worry about redoing that. So I'm upset. Uh, I think this is more my emotions than anything else that people will destroy your shit and not care. And that's the sad thing about it because when I turn a place over, I like to give a person um, a good place. And you guys have seen some of the other ones that we've done. Um, you know, put down new flooring, new carpet, uh, you know, making sure they have nice appliances and things. And um, they're clean. Everything works, but people just don't care. People just don't care. All right. Live and learn.